Video content is getting increasingly important for your fashion brand. So in this video, let's talk about why it's so, so powerful. If we've not met before, hi, I'm Vicky, founder of The Fashion Business Coach, and I love helping small and startup fashion brands to launch and scale their businesses successfully. Every week I have a free video which talks about a particular topic that is an industry secret that I wanna share, or it's an answer to a question that I've been asked. So make sure that you're following along or subscribing, depending on the channel you're watching on, to make sure you catch that new video each and every week. This week, I really wanted to talk about video marketing because I'm sure as you've probably all noticed if you use any kind of social media, there's more and more emphasis being put on video. So why is it really powerful? The first reason, simply down to the algorithm. If you've never heard the term algorithm before, basically every social media channel has a algorithm, which basically dictates which pictures you see. So when you open up the Instagram app, for example, the pictures that you see are based on this series of decisions that have been programmed in. And the thing is right now, the algorithm loves video. So that means that if you post a video and a post, just a regular post graphic with some text, then you're more likely to get seen with the video. Most social channels right now are prioritizing video content, which means you're more likely to be seen and you know that's the aim of the game, to be seen, right? So that's one reason why we should prioritize. The second reason is because, and this is especially true if you're a new brand, it's really difficult to get customers to buy if they don't trust you. That's a key factor in the decision-making process and it's gonna sway someone from Oh, actually I'm gonna leave it, don't need to buy it, to actually making the purchase. So trust is a really big factor. If you put a face to a name, if you're in a video like I am right now, it's really gonna to help to build the trust. For one, people can see you're a real person, you're who you say you are, and people still wanna buy from people. We're in this online world, sure, but we've spent a year or something in lockdown. People are sick of it and they still want that human connection. And if you're there showing up on video, showing why you're so passionate about your brand, showing why you chose this fabric, why you have wear tested this product hundreds of times because you wanted to make it perfect for the customer, that's all gonna help to build the trust. People buy from people, even online. So don't forget that. I'm not saying you have to show up each and every day on lives or on video, but if you can at least put a face to a name at least like once or twice a month, ideally more, but I'll give you that as your minimum benchmark, that's gonna help people to really know who you are and why they should buy from you, which is again, super important for getting someone to purchase. Big brands don't have to do this, which is why if you're looking at big brand social media accounts, you won't see the founder on there because they're a household name. People will walk by their store or when they think, oh, I need to buy activewear, they'll type in Nike, for example. You have to work harder because no one knows who you are yet. So that's why, another reason why video is so important. The third reason, and I want you to think of it this way, when you sell a product online, you're selling images. You're not selling a product. Stay with me here, I know it sounds crazy, but think of yourself in a physical retail store. Chances are when you see something you like, the first thing you'll do, you'll go over and you'll feel it. You'll feel what the fabric's like. If it's horrible, you'll walk away. If it's nice, you'll stay. You'll probably try it on. You'll wanna get a feel for what it's like. On the internet, you're basically selling words in a picture because people can't do that. They can't experience it. By adding video content, you can help people to experience the product as best you can without them actually having it. If you only have photos of your products, if you have, say, a dress that's made from a really nice drapey fabric that's really flowy and silky and soft, that's gonna be really hard to tell from the picture because the product's just gonna collapse in on itself. It's not gonna be airy and floaty and how it could be. If we take an example, if I, and this is a terrible example, I'll give you that, but it hopefully proves my point. This top, you guys looking at it like this, you might not know if it's floaty. You might think it's structured. It might be something that's really stiff, like a linen or something like that. But actually when I start to kind of play with it, you can see, oh, actually it's really stretchy. Yes, you don't want the model doing something like that because it's not attractive, but if they've got a dress, they can grab the hem, they can float it around, do some really beautiful cinematography effects on it if you want. But the point is, people can see, oh, actually this fabric is really light and airy. 
or it's really stretchy or it's really structured, whatever it is. And that's going to help the customer to visualize it because ask yourself this, how many times have you made a purchase online and then you've received the fabric and you're like, oh, that's not what I imagined or actually I don't like this. I'm going to return it straight away. And returns cost you as a business. Even if you're not offering free returns, there's a cost associated with the packaging, returning the item back to stock, making sure that it's not damaged and so many things. So we want to be reducing those returns and giving a video of what the fabric's like, how the fabric moves on the body is going to be super, super helpful. So that's three reasons why video marketing is so important for your fashion brand. I hope that's been helpful and I'll see you next week.